Hello everybody, it's Grado95, and I'm here to bring you a bit of coverage of Barathon Spirit Detective, the demo. Um, it's actually on Newgrounds, so, uh, I'm having, um, bleh, excuse me, I'm gonna have the link in the description as well as the link to the Indiegogo campaign, and they are almost done with that, so if you, uh, like what you see, and if you like Phoenix Wright and Phoenix Wright inspired things, uh, You'll like this game. Hopefully. Oh, I am so gonna lower that in editing. Jeez. That was loud in my ears. Alright. Let's do it. Barathon Spirit Detective. Ooh. I'm really excited. Um, excuse me. Are you Dolly? Oh, I didn't notice you there. I don't want to hear... Jill, I don't want to hear any more of this from you. Is that you, Tarek? Wow, you really are an exorcist. Sorry. I was starting to fear you weren't going to show up. My apologies. I've never been to Upper Lionheart before. I'm afraid I got a bit lost. Oh, never mind that. Please go introduce yourself to the other guests. It's still loud in my ears. Thank you. They're just down the hall to your left. Um, okay, I'll go do that then. Alright, well, in the beginning here, uh, I really like the sprite design. There's, uh, statues. I like them. It looks, it looks very solid. I'm gonna go right because, fuck. <laughs> I don't follow the rules. Hi there. Where are those red herbs? I can only find the green ones. She seems busy. I'll talk to her later. Alright, well. Hello? Hello? Salutations, miss. Huh? Can I help you? Oh, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Tarek Lempton, exorcist of Lionheart Kingdom. Nice to meet you, Tarek. My name's Anne. I usually work on cruise ships, but Dolly requested my services, so here I am. Ah, uh, yes, Dolly asked me to come here as well. You're not here to arrest anyone, are you? I knew that old woman looked suspicious. <laughs> no, no, I'm just here as a friend, not a law enforcer. That's not any fun. Sorry to disappoint you. Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you as well, Tarek. Dialogue's pretty good, so far. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Rick. What's up? Oh, Vanilla. What are you doing here? Oh, we know this person. I'm the greatest chef in all of Lionheart Kingdom. Why wouldn't I be here? Dolly must have paid you pretty nice. Lee. You know it. I can't help peop uh, I can't help it if people know how awesome I am. That's nice to hear. Pardon me, but I'm supposed to introduce myself to everyone, so I'll have to catch up with you later. Yeah, yeah, sounds cool. Later, Rick. Okay. I guess Rick is the short for Tarek. I think it makes sense. Um, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna play. Uh, I'll go to a good stopping point, or maybe just to the end of the de uh, the end of the demo. I don't know. We'll see. Hello, Miss. Why, hello, young man. Could I interest you in a potion? I could sell you one for a cheap price if you have a magic bottle. Um, I don't really have any bottles, let alone a magic one. You don't have a magic bottle, youngin. What do you store all your milk and ghosts in? Ha! <laughs> nice reference. Uh, I drink my milk from normal bottles, you know, a milk bottle, not a baby's bottle or a magic one. Hee <laughs> hee, well if you find a magic bottle, the first potion will be free. Thanks, I think. Well, I'll be off then. Honestly, um, I really, like, I gotta stress, I really like the graphics design, or the art design, whatever. That is some tasty looking bread. I wonder if anyone noticed if a slice or two magically disappeared. Oh, Tarek, I already like you. Quite a lot of the interesting baubles here. Oh, cool, spinning top, let it rip. <laughs> oh my god, a Beyblade reference. Nice. So these are normal bottles. Or magic bottles. A Beyblade reference I really appreciate. I used to play with those things all the time. Oh, there's nothing up here, I don't think. Oh, there's an herb growing in there. Can you legally grow herbs in Upper Lying Heart? I have no idea. So many juices and wines to choose from. How can I choose? They all look good. Life is hard sometimes. <laughs> Yuck, potatoes. Why would you eat these things? Oh man, I like potatoes. 
This barrel has DK written on it. I wonder what that stands for. Oh, obvious reference. Another empty crate. Ah, there's a wasp in there. Hmm. Oh, a bag of flour. Someone once told me you can use flour as a zombie deterrent in gardens. <laughs> References abound in this game. It's pretty good. The crate is overflowing with corn. If only it had some pop preceding it. <laughs> um, so I noticed the music in this uh, kind of looped there for a second. You could hear it, um, visit, like you could literally hear it loop because there was a pause and then it started up very unnaturally. So that's a thing. I kind of want to go upstairs. Oh, it's a bit touchy. There's a bedroom. And that's it. Oh. Have uh, be warned. This is a demo, so if it's a little touchy, it's mostly because it's uh, on new grounds as well. You know. Oh hey, <laughs> pardon me. Huh? Oh sorry. Hello there. I'm oh, sorry about being your way earlier. Don't sweat it. Wait, are you sweating? Sorry, I sweat when I'm nervous. I know I kind of stink, but I can't really help it. Oh. Um, I'm Tarek. What's your name, sir? Call me Apples. <laughs> apples. Everyone calls me by that because I'm an apple merchant. Well, when they're not calling me Piggy or Mr. Stinks a whole lot. Very PG. Uh, nice to meet you, Apples. I'll talk to you later. Maybe. Ooh, somebody's mad. Uh, hello. Who are you? I'm Tarek Lemton, an exorcist of the kingdom. Greetings, ex exorcist of Lionheart Kingdom. The man before you is the Great Orange. Um... Did you say you're an orange? <laughs> you see, the orange is a great man, the king in the world of merchants in a way. Humble and efficient as the orange is, he decided to only be addressed by his trade. So he's an orange merchant, okay. So you are the fruit merchant that mainly sells oranges? You need to open your eyes to the bigger picture. The greatest me of men have started their professions in humble ways. That is who the orange is. Why do you refer to yourself in the third person? Why I'd be rude to refer m to myself so highly. That is why the magnificent orange, in his astounding wisdom, uses the third person. Only lowly mer merchants like apples would praise themselves so Im immodestly. I see. Well, it was nice meeting you, Mr. Orange. <laughs> so I'm gonna guess these are all merchants. Hi. Um, hello, Claire. It's nice to meet you, miss. I'm Tarek Lemton, exorcist of Lionheart Kingdom, and a friend of Dolly. Maybe I should leave her alone. Okay, well. Hey, how are you? I'm really pissed off, can't you tell? Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. I'm Tarek Lemton. As an exorcist, it's my duty to keep the peace. Is there any way I can help you? Is that a threat? You threatening me, kid? Do you have any idea who I am? I'm sorry, I believe this is the first time I've met you. I'm Rocky Kinsuki of the Kinsuki family. You know, the richest merchant in all of Lionheart Kingdom. Yeah, they're all merchants, okay. Oh yes, I've heard of you. Second in wealth only to the merchant Claire Legith. Legilth, correct? Oh, that's that person then. Are you saying I'm lesser than a woman? You wanna go? Huh? What do you mean? Go where? And you, Claire, I bet you think this is hilarious, don't you? And Claire doesn't have any response. Whatever, man, forget you. Um, <laughs> hmm, that guy has quite a temper. Are you gonna talk now? Um, are you okay, Legilth? Le My name's Claire, and you have to do something for me. Oh, sure, can I, how can I help you, Claire? Go tell Rocky to get back here. The auction starts soon. Alright, I can do that for you. Man, somebody is bossy. Oh well, where do you wander off to? What is this? A great stand for auction items. I bet old, any old piece of junk would look presentable on top of it. Alright, well, I might play this entire thing through because I'm really excited. <laughs> hey, you okay, Dolly? Oh, I'm doing just fine, actually. Do you know what's up with Rocky, though? I'm um, not quite sure. I think I made him upset, though. Well, the auction is about to start soon. Can you go? For, uh, can you find him and tell him to get back? No problem. I'll go find him right now. He's not outside, I bet. I bet he went this way. 
He's probably up here. Mm-hmm. I knew it. So mad. Hey, Merchant Rocky. What do you want? I just wanted to point out that the auction will be starting so uh, soon. Perhaps you'd like to head back with me. I'll get there when I get there. Now shove off, ex Exorcist. He really seems upset. Guess I'll just let him be for now. All right, well, the game's telling me to go, so I'm going. Oh, hi. I take it you want to tell me something. Dolly would like to speak to you. Uh, speak to you. He's waiting for you in his room upstairs. Um, okay. What did he did he say? What he wanted? Sorry, all I know is that he he is waiting for you. I see. Well, I'll be on my way then. So wait, that was a guy. This is a guy. I could have sworn it was a lady. You wanted to see me? I sure did. I want to tell you about the real reason I asked you here today. Maybe he's a guy. Yeah, he looks more guyish now. So, oh man, this music's pretty good. Uh, so it wasn't for my good company? Well, what is it then? Well, what is it? Um, <laughs> do you know what I'm auctioning off today, Tarek? No, actually, I wasn't able to obtain that information. Have you ever heard of Damio Smith and his final series of swords? Hmm? <laughs> Not really. I've never been that interested in weapons of any kind. Well, Damios is famous for his swords, and many people collect them. The sword he is currently working on is heavily discussed amongst the all collectors. <laughs> Originally, the sword was called was announced as Final 13 Verses. Am I getting a Final Fantasy reference here? <laughs> Despite the poor reception of other Final 13 swords, the Versus model is highly anticipated by people all over the world. Okay, um, the screen shaking? I don't understand why it shakes sometimes. But, I mean, you know. Really? What makes this sword better than the others? I think the collectors are merely dreaming and hopeful, but that's not the point I'm trying to get at. You see, the rumor has it that Damios will be changing the sword's name to Final 15. Okay, what does that mean? Well, I happen to have a concept sword made by Demios marked Final Fantasy 13 versus. <laughs> Do okay. I guess every time something controversial is said, but I mean, doesn't. Mm. Dude, I'm not sure if I like it or not. Due to the rumors, this sword's va value is ridiculously high. But. I would like it if you could keep an eye over on everyone here, just until the auction is over. You suspect someone plans to see th steal the sword from you? No, but due to the sword's value, I feel it's best to be on the side of caution. I see. I'll do what I can for you, Dolly. Thank you, Tarek. Well, as the host of this event, I think it's time I go. I got dinner out for everyone. If you don't mind waiting in the auction room, I'll have everything ready in just a few moments. I'm not one to turn down free food. Fantastic. Well, I got things to do. Alright, well. Where was the auction room again? To the left. Okay, so that was to indicate where I needed to go next. I kinda wanna go outside. Hmm, I wonder where everyone else is. Guess I'll just sit and wait for everyone. I'm sure it'll be a short wait. Oh, hello. Hey, Rick. Having fun all by your lonesome? <laughs> Vanilla, come on. I already like you. Oh, hey, Vanilla. Where is everybody? What? Am I not good enough for you? <laughs> oh, thanks. After I went through all this effort to cook for you? Weren't you hired by Dolly to cook for his guests? Well, yeah, but still. Try my awesome cooking already, would you? I feel like Vanilla's younger than me. Tarek. Uh, it does look... Delicious. Perhaps I'll try a couple bites. Hey, Orange. What's up? Hey, Apples. Hey, old lady who's weird. Oh. I gotta say, this is delicious. And just in time, too. I was about to starve. The thoughtful Orange thinks Apples could go a day or two without eating edibles. Ho ho ho. Hey, Dolly. Where's, um, the other two? Vanilla? What are you doing here? Huh? I'm just talking to Rick. Shouldn't she be in the kitchen? Why? Because I'm a woman? Oh, she's a woman. Should have gotten that from Vanilla. <laughs> no, because you're the head chef I hired. Haha. 
Oh yeah. Well, I mean, okay. Guess I'll talk to you later, Rick. Later, Vanilla. Thanks for the food. Uh, enjoying yourself over there, Tarek? I sure am. Thanks for the hospitality. I wonder what's taking Claire and Rocky so long. Ah! What was that scream just now? I have no idea. I'm gonna go see. Can I, like, fast run? No? Alright. Oh, hey, what's going on down here? Hi. You doing alright? I should be in there, helping. I know, it sucks, but we have to stay out here for now. Is something going on in the storage room? Alright, well, are you gonna say something? Are you alright? <laughs> now's not the time to be sleeping. Alright, well. Oh. Is that you, Master Monsey? Oh. Get it together, Tarek. There's been a murder. A murder? We should get go get the officers. We are those officers, Tarek. As exorcists, we deal out the law to both the living and the dead. Yeah, I forgot. What should we do? <laughs> Don't worry, I've already arrested our suspect. You go and gather everyone in this room for interrogation. Alright, I'm on it. I'll be right back. Well, I guess you should go get everyone. Okay. How'd he get here so fast? Like, this just happened. He's magical. My master. Hi, uh, apples? Oh, uh, hey, Tarek. Oh no, someone stole your chicken. You just ate my chicken, you- Oh. Huh? Well, apples, I came here to ask you. I confess, I confess everything. It was me, I ate your chicken. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, um, be that as it may, I still- I couldn't help it. He was just sitting there. It was so tantalizing, I fought against the temptation for as long as I could. Yes, yes, whatever. Look, I need you to- Please, no, I'm too young to go to jail. There must be something I can do. Anything. <sighs> if you want forgiveness, go in the kitchen and wait with everyone else. Yes, sir, thank you for the second chance. Oh, apples. I love gathered apples. <laughs> Greetings, Orange. That scream, it belonged to a woman, didn't it? The scream? I think so. Yes, the magnified orange can see it all now. Did you just say magnified orange? The super sleuth orange has dedu deduced everything. I believe you need my help? Yes, actually. Master Monsey is here and he's asked me to bring everyone in the kitchen. Master Monsey? The only detective in the world as great as the an orange. So does that mean you'll head over there now? Yes, even with these sunglasses, the piercing orange can see through all shadows and lies. As long as it's not too dark. I really don't get that guy. Hey, Dolly. Did you find out what's going on, Tarek? Well, there's been a murder. Light above. That's terrible. I can't believe it. It is. Thankfully, Master Monsey is here and... What? Spirit Detective Monsey is here? I never invited him. What is he doing here? That's what I'm... I thought that, too. I'm not sure, but he's here now, and he's arrested the murderer. He, he arrested... Who did he arrest? I'm not sure, but he wants us all to gather into the kitchen for now. Ah, uh, yes, all right. I can't believe Master Motsi is here. Neither can I, I don't know. What should I do next? I mean, it's kind of obvious. A bit of flavor text there. <laughs> to remind you if you're... You forget everything. Hey, Apples, pardon me. Huh? Oh, sorry, again. Yeah, that's right. Hey, uh, Monty, everybody's here. Ooh. Who are you? She looks very pale. I think I'll let her be for now. I forgot who you are. What? Who is this? Looks like she didn't stop when Monty told her to freeze. <laughs> hey, Monty. What's up? That's blood. Light above. This is so much blood. Why would someone do this? Who died? There's no body. Master Monty, I've gathered everyone. Actually, this witness and the evidence are more than conclusive. I won't be needing anyone else's testimonies. Oh, and I see you've already arrested Claire. Your ice magic is very impressive, sir. Ah ha 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 ha! When you've been practicing magic as long as I have, you learn a thing or two. Um, should I tell everyone to go home now, since you already figured everything out? Yes, yes, no need for them to waste their time here. Oh. Uh, hello? Um... Are you a ghost? <laughs> nah, man, it's just floating stuff because it's cool. 
Ha, <laughs> who am I kidding? Floating's pretty sweet. A ghost is talking to me! Aren't you a spirit detective? You should be used to this kind of thing. Well, I'm kind of new at this whole exorcist thing. As a ghost, aren't you my enemy? That's racist! Not every ghost is evil, you know? Uh, I think you mean prejudice. Ghosts aren't a race. Look here, guy, I have feelings too. I don't appreciate you calling me all these names. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What is your name, kind spirit? I don't remember. I haven't been alive in, like, years. Or weeks. I'm not sure. But it feels like it's been forever. Would you mind if I gave you a new name? How about Vernson or Razau? Nah, those names are stupid. I'm thinking. Shadow. That's a rather simple name, don't you think? Uh, I mean, yes, that's a great name. I know, right? It's all dark and mysterious. Am I good? Am I bad? Or am I just a good guy who's lost his way? Uh, you are good, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Speaking of which, I need you to help that frozen girl. That... my mouth. Huh? Claire? You know she's a murderer, don't you? Look, man, that Monsi has a reputation for solving every case instantly. Do you know why that is? Uh, because he's a very quick, analytical mind? Tell me you don't honestly believe that. Wait, no, forget that. Look, he just accepts whatever he sees in front of him. I'm sorry, but I can't just believe some, uh, you. You don't have to. Just give the girl a chance. I need to talk to Master Monsi. So yeah, dude, um, this ghost tells me that you're stupid. Excuse me, Master Monsi, I have something I need to discuss with you. It's important. What is it now, Tarek? I'll have you know I was just thinking up some great jokes to say to the press before you interrupted me. Alright, I don't like Monty much. Um, sir? I don't mean to startle you, but there's a ghost here. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Is that copyright? I... I... Mm, be careful what you're doing there, man. Disney will suit your ass. What are you talking about? There hasn't been a ghost in Lionheart Kingdom in years. You can't see the ghost? He's clearly just said Hakuna Matata. You heard him, right? The ghost said what now? He said, never mind. <laughs> you can't see or hear me. Anyways, ask him about Claire. Uh, Master Monsi, could you tell me more about this case? I'd love to learn from you. Well, I am busy, but I guess I can cut you a little slack. This is where I found the victim's body. I believe his name was Rocky. Oh, that girl Claire was standing not too far away with the murder weapon lying on the ground next to her. I encased her in ice, just to be safe. Then I noticed the girl Annie, and she told me everything that had happened. So what exactly did happen? I've already told you more than you need to know, Tarek. Unless you're trying to defend her from justice, I have no reason to elaborate. There's an idea. Tell him she deserves a fra fair trial. Uh, I think she deserves a fair trial. What? We haven't done trials in ages. An exorcist's word is law. Well, as an exorcist, I, require, I request she has a trial. Oh, good stuff, Derek. You tell him how it is. Fine, get out. Prepare her defense, young exorcist. Wait, no, there... Oh. Uh, well, now what do I do? What, isn't it obvious? Ah, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it else... Else? If you wouldn't sneak up on me like that. There's... What? Okay. It can't be helped. I am a ghost, after all. If I don't sneak up on people, I lose spookiness points. I like the ghost. Yeah, spooky points. Wait, am I the only person who can see or hear you? Only exorcists with strong spirits can see me. That Monty guy doesn't seem to have what it takes. Well, that answers one question. But why do you want me to help Claire? She isn't the murderer. She So it's, like, not cool to imprison her. If Claire isn't the murderer, then who is? You're the one defending her. You should probably figure that out. I don't think I like you, Shadow. <laughs> it's okay. You'll grow to love me. Anyways, you should get detectives from everyone, Mr. Spirit Detective. Yeah, you're right. About the testimonies. Hmm, who should I talk to first? Oh, hey, Monty. Oh, great. I believe that was more than enough time for you to prepare your defense. What? I was just about to... Okay, everyone, we're holding a trial right here to decide the fate of Claire Leguth. Glith. 
We shall have a trial for the people by the people. Uh, the six of you not involved in the case shall be our unbiased judges who will hand out an, a united verdict after Tarek and I present our cases. Hold it! Not all six of them are unbiased. No? Why are some of them unbiased towards Claire? Uh, they're fellow mer merchants. They're fellow merchants. Oh yeah, you three merchants, aren't you? Are merchants, are you? Well, unfortunately, the three of us are merchants, so we will just have to watch since our occupations make us bias. Alright then, only these three kitchen hands will be the judges. This one is my witness, Annie. She will tell you all how everything transpired. Okay. Ahem! Is everyone listening? Discover the truth! So I was going back to get some stuff. When I first went in and noticed Rocky was in there, I silently made my way in the room and crept over to the crates. Why'd you creep? I was able to see everything as I hid amongst the crates. Why were you hiding? Forget it, Tarek. Nothing's, nothing is wrong with Annie's testimony. Tarek, you should try pressing her. Go through her testimony again. You bet I'll press her from head to toe. For information, of course. Ho ho ho. So I was gonna go back into the tub. Would you mind telling us exactly what stuff you were looking at for? I don't know, just stuff. Does it matter? Don't waste our time with pointless questions, Tarek. Hmm, should I really push this? Yeah. This isn't a hard question. What was it that called you to the murder scene? Oh, uh, hold on. I'm trying to remember. That's right, I went in the back to get away from apples. Do you see now, Tarek? There wasn't anything worth... There wasn't anything worth nothing at all. Hmm? Wait, wasn't what she said just now different? Yeah. So you say we went to the storage room to avoid Mr. Stinks a lot, eh? Yeah, that was what I said. Uh, well, right now, I think the only thing that stinks is a dirty liar. What are you saying? If you remember right, you just said I was going to the bank to get some stuff. And now you're saying it was to get away from apples. I, I, uh... It's very obvious what is going on here. The only reason to be vague about why you were at the murder scene is because you are hiding the truth. Ah! Hold on. You're not going to dismiss my witness like that. You haven't even given her a chance to describe the actual crime. So you all know Rocky died from blood loss. I have the weapon the murderer used right here. It's a sword with final 13 verses branded on it. I found it laying on the floor not far from the victim's body. Final 13 verses, but I had to list clues. Annie, if you would be so kind, would you please tell us about what you saw when you saw the murder? I can be that kind, no problem. Oh, okay. I was really quiet in that room whenever Rocky wasn't throwing punches or swearing, of course. Does the room seem really quiet to you? Oh yeah, totally. For moments, at a time, there was nothing at all to hear. Nothing at all? You weren't making any noises yourself? No, I don't think so, because when I was listening in between the swears, while I was hiding, I heard soft footsteps, a muffled scream, and two thud sounds. Eh? So you didn't actually see anything? I was just about to get to that. Some people are so impatient. And that's when I saw Claire with that sword in hand. She was just standing there, never letting go of the weapon she used to kill. Can I just... I want to look at... I don't want to present it yet, though. Clearly this contradicts the thingy, and... Oh. Yeah, I didn't want to choose it, but there was no way for me not to. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. What was Claire doing? She was just looking down at Rocky, a light, light guide his spirit. It was pretty obvious that with that sword in her hand, what she was, what she had just done. Can you see now? This is why I arrested her. It looks like I need to show some evidence. I'm gonna talk what she's saying. She needs to use that evidence. Okay. Two thud sounds. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Hang on, yes, I know, I want to present, but it's just, it's a little hard at the moment. Because there's no back button as well. Clearly this contradicts the thingy, okay. 
I'm really bad at this. Um. No. I didn't want to press. I keep hitting C, not Z. Apologies, guys. So that was Claire. What was Claire holding exactly? Is this a trick question? She was holding her sword. Are you sure it was a sword? Are you sure it wasn't nothing? What are you getting at? Let's see, I do believe you were just saying that Claire never dropped the sword after killing Rocky. And that is how you were supposed to, you supposedly knew Claire was the killer. But Monsi said earlier, I found it laying on the floor not too far from the victim's body. You already said you never saw anything. You only heard some faint sounds. I object, she merely doesn't remember things properly. Admit it, Annie, it was you. You killed Rocky and tried to toss the blame. Ah! No, 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 no. You aren't pinning this on me. It was all Dolly's idea. He asked me if I wanted to make some more money, and I said yes. Who doesn't want free money? It was just, I was just doing what I was told. It was my job to watch and make sure everything went right. Dolly would pretend to sell that stupid sword to Rocky. Once he, the adult handed over the money to Dolly, he made sure the fool would sleep like a rock permanently. Soon after Dolly left, Claire showed up, just like he said she would. That's when I earned my pay, screaming so everyone could come running. It was all Dolly's idea. Take him, throw him to jail to rot. You know you're an accomplice, right? I... I don't... I don't feel so good. Come on in, follow me. I feel I need to defend myself. Um, yes, go ahead, Merchant Dolly. This is this is gonna be good. This is so much more fun than haunting old people. Oh, Shadow, you dick. <laughs> um, hey everybody. So the auction isn't happening today. Okay. I hope everybody at least enjoyed the free food. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you all came to support this auction, despite my poor preparation. Mm -hmm. I don't know what got into Annie, but I assuredly have nothing to do with any of this. Do you now all understand? Annie is simply not. Oh, not all there. I'm sure you can figure out how to crack this guy. Remember, Kuna Matata. I'm sure that that's helpful advice. Okay, I'm just gonna press. Huh? What do you mean exactly? It's about a murder. My main attraction is the murder weapon. I'm sorry, this must be really hard for you. It's okay, I appreciate everything you're doing. You're just trying to find the truth. Boo! Boo! Not like the ghost boo, but like the boo you suck boo. <laughs> Um, I had almost forgotten about Shadow. Uh, I hope everybody at least enjoyed the free food. The food was delicious! <laughs> well, at least this whole event wasn't a complete waste. No kidding! If you ever throw another one of these... Oh, uh, yeah. What were you saying? Yeah. What was so bad about your preparation? Well, I wasn't as ready as I could have been. So much to go off. Should I press him for more? I'm not trying to come off as rude. Yeah. I'd like to hear more about this. Do you think you could elaborate further? I guess. There's not really much to say, though. I should have contacted you all ahead of time. Um. Meh. Looks like I've caught you in a bit of a lie. What do you mean? Explain yourself. You've planned out everything today, haven't you, Dolly? No, that doesn't sound right. I believe you said I should have contacted you all ahead of time. Who do you think you're fooling? You've been planning this all for quite some time. Claire's proof enough herself, getting the richest merchant at all of Lionheart Kingdom by luck. Uh, supposedly, you only happened upon us. Did you forget you sent me this invitation letter? I'm not surprised. Lies only beget more lies. Next time you try to fool everyone, try thinking it through more carefully. Or better yet, don't even try, because I'll always be there to see through it all. Oof. What's the matter, Dolly? Not feeling as pure as a blank page. I, 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 I... I can't stand you and your really bad jokes! Who do you think you are? You... Oh, look at me, everyone. I'm Mr. Funnybones. Did I ever tell you about the one about the priest and the exorcist? 
That's how stupid you sound. Do you hear how stupid? Do you hear me, stupid no ears? It's not just your ears. All of you is stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. Are you gonna be alright? I give up. I can't do this anymore. I admit it. I killed Rocky. I didn't have anything against him personally. I just wanted his money. At the same time, by pinning, pinning it on Claire, I was taking out my greatest competition. Afterwards, I would sell the sword to some other schmuck. If only it had been that easy. That easy? Is that easy for you to end someone's life? I can see now I that I was wrong. You did a good job today, Tarek. Thank you, Master Monsi. Do you think I, you can let Claire go now? Oh, yes, of course. It's very warm in here. Thank you for letting me out of the ice block. My memory is a little foggy. Can someone tell me what I was doing in there? Well, I think my job is done here. I'll take Dolly with me. Thinking, thinking you can take care of the rest, Tarek? What? You owe Claire an apology. Oh boy, look at the time. Come on, Dolly. You either come with me warm or cold. Your choice. All right. Well, that was the demo. A full 36 minutes if you don't screw up like I did a bunch of times by hitting the wrong buttons. Um, so far, I think it looks pretty good. I never went outside. Uh, I don't think I can go outside, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you like the game, the look of the game, and you want to see it uh, be made into a game, go to uh, Indiegogo, uh, the link in the description, again, and go pay for, you know, support. <laughs> and uh, if you want to try out the demo for yourself, because, I don't know, maybe you want to try out the demo for yourself, uh, link will be in the description. It's on Newgrounds. So, yeah. Um, thank you all for watching again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.